So, what's new in ClickSense September 2018? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo, Senior Product Marketing Manager with Click. Once again, it's that time of year where I present to you what's new in ClickSense. And today, I showcase the ClickSense September 2018 release. ClickSense June 2018 introduced our new Insight Advisor, powered by our Cognitive Engine. Content creators can quickly and easily review suggested and contextual analytics with a simple click, search, or selection when creating their apps, significantly reducing the amount of time creating visualizations. With September 2018, we have now made this capability accessible to the broader user community. ClickSense users that are not explicit content authors can now leverage the power of the Inside Advisor on apps that have already been approved and published to a stream. In the same way they can create their own analytics from published apps using a governed library, they can now invoke the Inside Advisor to gain suggested insights from measures and dimensions that are in their master library and add them to their sheets, therefore extending the power of the Cognitive Engine to all ClickSense users. September 2018 also introduces better controls in the ClickSense client when using hybrid devices, those devices that support both touch gestures and mouse inputs. Simply access the menu in the upper left to toggle touchscreen mode. This enables your hybrid device to act more like a traditional laptop when working with the ClickSense client and mouse input. Okay, it seems like in most releases, with every What's New video I create, I always have one of those things that you guys are always going to be excited about. Well, this release is no exception. September 2018 now allows you to set a default bookmark that is applied when the app is opened, allowing you to set an initial selection state for your app, displaying the analysis for that selection immediately. And not only that, but we now give you more control of your sheet's layout dimensions. You can now choose whether your app's sheets are responsive, where the sheets and objects auto size to fit the form factor of the screen, or are custom, where you can explicitly set the dimensions in pixels, therefore defining the size of the sheet and placement of its visualization objects. This feature does not apply to mobile device viewing. We've also added a few improvements to our expression editor. We have enabled a contextual help switch so you can easily jump to the appropriate section for a specific function, keyword, or expression in our online help. You can now also search for functions that have also been categorized to make it easier to find the expression you are looking for. Measures defined in your master item library have a new capability that allows you to create and customize your own color segments for its values. You can define your individual segments along with its corresponding color and set a range for each by either using fixed values or percentages. Since the scheme is defined in the master measure, it is created once and then respected by every supported chart object where this color scheme has been enabled, making your chart's coloring consistent throughout the app. We have also added a new density map layer available with our native map object. This layer is best used with very dense location data allowing you to summarize large amounts of data where your points are considered very close in proximity or carry certain weights. Depending on the number of points in a particular location, the density map will reveal shapes and patterns with various colors and intensities, indicating dense areas or hotspots within your data. This type of map draws your attention immediately to areas of concern or progress, allowing you to make informed decisions quickly and easily. This kind of layer is commonly used for mapping data at the street level, such as values for housing, crime stats, and more. ClickSense September 2018 will also debut the initial release of our new product, the Click Associative Big Data Index, a new high-performance technology capable of providing our patented associative difference, but within a big data context, eliminating the need to transfer and prepare the data elsewhere before it can be analyzed. It will be first made available through an early access program. The EAP enables initial users of the product to work closely with Click, who will provide the best deployment approach of this new technology. Interested customers should contact their local Click representative to learn more about the EAP program and the Click Associative Big Data Index. 
So that's all I have for this release. As usual, other improvements, stability, and performance have also been addressed, and more information can be viewed in our release notes. We have one more release to go before 2018 is over, and I'm sure you will love what we have planned. If you want to be notified when more videos such as this are posted to our channel, click the bell icon below if viewing from YouTube. We want to hear from you, so tell me in your comments what you think, and don't forget to check out these other great resources to learn more about Click and ClickSense, and please remember to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.